The men's track and field team continues to roll through the outdoor season, bringing home the CCIW championship for the second straight year. But the finish line for this year's squad is the NCAA Division III National Meet, and we take a look at how the team is getting ready to take down the nation on this week's Cardinal Report, starting now. Welcome to the Cardinal Report. I'm Mark Dolphus. Joining me this week is head coach of the men's track and field team, Frank Gramoroso. Coach, thanks for checking in. Hey, thanks for having us again. So the team takes home its second straight CCIW championship, and it was really the depth of this team that prevailed in that meet. Yeah, so it was really a team effort. We only won three individual events, and the rest of the team compiled all those points to uh, get us that uh, championship by a 69-point margin. Yeah, Augustana was right there with you. Going into that last day of the meet, it really, it could have went either direction, couldn't it? Yes, it really could. I mean, we were, had a great Friday, and I think we stung them a little bit, but you still have to come back on Saturday and mm -hmm. perform. So uh, the guys did a great job. I thought if we had an excellent day, we'd win by 60, and we won by 69. And one of those... Uh, Cardinals coming away with the victory is Dan Curley in the 10,000 meters. Really seem to hitting his stride right now in the outdoor season. Yeah, he really is. You know, and that, a little worried that we did double him. We probably didn't need to. Mm -hmm. Later in the day, we looked at which guys we could drop out, but he still wanted to run the 5K on Saturday. So he did it as a little temple run instead of racing and trying to win that uh, event. He, st you know, stayed back with the team and got second. But yes, he's uh, in the top eight, I believe, in the 10K, and mm -hmm. we're hoping he stays there. And another Cardinal with an impressive time on the track, John Howard in the 400, and Deonta Hackler coming in second. It seems like the Cardinal teammates are the ones that are pushing these guys on the track. Yeah, it's everybody on the team, even the guys who didn't get in the meet. I think we entered uh, 65 or 66 athletes, and some, you know, came and watched, but they weren't mm -hmm. in that group. And I think within their groups, they help everybody else do the best that they can. And, yeah, John, without being uh, a full indoors competitive season, he's really come into his own. And talk about, uh, you know, teammates pushing each other. No teammates push each other more than the pole vaulters. You guys go one through five in the conference meet. That's almost unheard of. Yeah, it's, we, have the, we have the depth there. Uh, four of them look like they're, uh, you know, going to stay and remain their marks. Uh, I don't, we're one, two, three in the country. I don't, you know, there's a 16-11, so that guy's mm -hmm. right there. But I know they're going. we got to try to get uh, Frank in the meet there. He was our fifth guy at the conference meet. But it's always... Uh, that pole vault, you never know when the wind's going to change right. or the rain's going to come down, but they did a great job. And you have Peter Garrity coming back from injury. Have you been trying to, you know, slowly get him in, involved? Yeah, but he's, you know, he, he's really going at it. We're trying to keep him low, a little low key, but he's already jumped over 17 feet, and, you know, he's the defending national champion, and he's going to go out there and, and try to outwork everybody else, even though he's been sidelined by an injury. He seems to be fully recovered, but he's missed a lot of technique mm -hmm. work, so he really has to iron some of that out. Well, this year's group of pole vaulters is living up to the standards set in years past, and we take a look at how they're using their teammates to raise the bar in this edition of What's the Word? Every practice, we kind of work together to help each other out to be the best pole vaulters we can be, and we go into a meet and we kind of think the same exact thing. We all want to help each other out, catch each other's steps, make suggestions to each other on what moves we can make in the competition to be the best that we can be. It's insane, it really is. Because you, you don't really be competitive with them. It's it's like they're pushing you and you're pushing them, but you're not trying to beat each other. You just lift each other up, and that's what really makes it special. Well, anytime you you know you get the opportunity to come in here every day and train with all Americans, it's it's a pretty awesome experience. And we got a, the right coaches, the right equipment to uh, you know if if you use each other and you you know use what you know what the school gives us, it makes a huge difference. And you know I'm just blessed that I can come here and have teammates that we have fun and. You know, but when it comes down to it, we can get the job done, too. It's just basically like the, the perfect competition, perfect practice teammates that you could ever have. It's actually really convenient to have other jumpers who, around you who are jumping basically at the same heights. And also, uh, it helps just to kind of motivate each other to kind of have a little bit of competitiveness with each other 
during the meet and also to you know support each other to jump high. Coach, other field event competitors coming away, you know, with second place finishes in the meet is particularly Zach Hirspink, high jump and triple jump, and Robert Kaputska in the discus and shot put. What is it like for those guys to do, you know, both those events running back and forth? Yeah, well, they're both national level competitors. They've been at the national meet, and again, we tried to put together as many points as we can, and Bobby was in the hammer too, and he increased his mark a little bit uh, over this year, but... He had to chase around a lot to get to all those events. And Zach, I know Zach left the meet a little disappointed right. getting second. Uh, Carthage pulled somebody out of basketball and <laughs> went 6'10", and uh, the guys didn't even know he qualified for nationals. He's one of the top three in the country. So, But we use Zach in the triple jump and the long jump, but now he's ready to zero in on the high jump. He's at 6'9 and a half. He's in the top seven in the country, mm -hmm. and you know he's looking for that uh, big mark, uh, hopefully at the national championships. Well, you guys have gotten first in every meet you've uh, competed in this year. How do you keep these athletes hungry, you know, from week to week if they're constantly getting first place? Well, just they're they're in their individual event groups, and uh, the great coaching staff we have, you know, keeps them. Uh, on the right track and uh, we our motto this year was uh, continue the pursuit mm -hmm. and for each person that pursuit is a little different certainly for our team it was to win the indoor meet and mm -hmm. then it's to win the outdoor meet and now it's to get as many qualifiers as we can but trying to keep that continuing the pursuit even for the guy who didn't compete at conference if he's going out there and getting a personal best he's helping himself and everybody else yeah even though with two meets remaining the focus really has shifted to nationals it seems like on this team how does it change the way you coach and prepare for these next two meets coming up are you going to rest some guys or try and get guys to drop times and improve their marks well everybody's going to try to you know hold on to their mark or improve certainly we have two very large meets mm -hmm. uh, that people from around the country come to, and we don't want someone to steal one of our spots. Right. But again, each individual event area coach is in, in charge of that group, and they're going to counsel their athletes on what's best to do. But we do have a, a good 16 to 18 guy nucleus that is mm -hmm. you, you can declare in the top 50. Right. Uh, but again, the top 20 go. But anybody in that top 50, I think, is really you know, chasing after it and trying to get the best performance that they can. So uh, we're looking to add a few to the national meet. We're going to need all the help we can. We're, <laughs> we're ranked fourth, fourth. We lost a lot of big points from last year, but it's a new team, and it's their team. So let's see what they can do. And talk about that for a little bit. The Cardinals are ranked fourth right now. But it, it, that doesn't really say that you guys still aren't maybe top one or two sure. in the country. No, it doesn't. You know, you have to go there and compete. But certainly, you know, if you're in a scoring position, which we have a few athletes, I think seven of our athletes are within the scoring position, you still have to go there right. and get through the prelim round and then go ahead and, uh, you know, get, his, get, get on the podium. So as many guys that do that, it's, you know, then we'll do well as a team. But we're in that top four. We're hoping to be on the podium for one of those trophies. If it's first, outstanding. If it's fourth, we're, we're up there with all the big guns in the country. Did this team feel a little bit of a target on its back after winning the, you know, the indoor national championship, the cross country national championship? You guys have a chance to go three for three. Do they feel a little bit of pressure? Uh, I don't think so. I, you know, again, they're trying to do the best they can do, and we can't control what the other schools do. So even if we go to nationals and everybody's an All-American, that doesn't guarantee you're even going to get a trophy or, or win the meet. If you go there and compete to the best of your ability, whatever happens, we're going to be satisfied. Now, particularly speaking in, in the relays, do you, are you going to try different guys in you know, the distance medley, the 4x4, four four, or are you going to let some focus on their individual Well, right events? now, the national meet, there is no outdoors, no distance medley. Okay. We ran one at Drake, but there's the 4x4 four four and the 4x1. Four uh, we did use two new guys last week and ran a time that's, you know, one of the top times in the country uh, at 3.15, even though he's already run 3.11, which is second. Uh, uh, J.R. Kaba kind of strained a hamstring a little bit, so we kept him out of the relay, and mm -hmm. we put uh, two new people in there, and a surprise, 3.15. So uh, sometimes we have to juggle some guys around. I don't see uh, Kaba sprinting again until maybe the meet next week. Uh, but keeping them healthy for nationals and that relay team probably won't change even though we'll run uh, another person in his place this weekend. And the better we do, you know, maybe we have a chance for that substitution. That just shows the impressive depth of this team, the way that you can plug two new guys into a relay and still yeah. get a really good time. Well, we ran two big guns. John was one of them, let off and put us in great <laughs> position. And uh, we had Johnny Karen in there. Well, Deontay suffered some blisters in mm -hmm. the 400 and the 200, and we gave him the 
the relay off this week, but certainly he'll be back uh, this week and next weekend at Nationals. Well, we are happy to see you guys bring home the CCIW Championship, Coach. Thanks so much. Thank you. Don't go anywhere because after the break, we'll be joined by a Cardinal who is hoping to help the team bring home a national title. Keep it right here on the Cardinal Report. <laughs>